Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you had a good week and I hope that you enjoyed the last video that I put up. Um, today I wanted to do my current favorites. I don't really do monthly favorites, but I thought, you know, I would, I like watching them. So I thought I would share some things that I have been enjoying lately. So if you're interested in seeing what I am currently enjoying, then just keep watching. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into things. So we're gonna start with like kind of fashion items first and then we'll move on from there. So the first thing that I have been loving is going to be my Pandora bracelet. And so I'm not wearing it now, obviously. And, um, but normally I do wear it. Lost my train of thought. So normally, you know, I, I wear it kind of on a consistent basis, but I've really been enjoying it lately. I like charm bracelets. Um, when I was a little bit larger, I had like a sterling silver um, charm bracelet, and you know, I like collecting charms, and I like the the noise that it makes <laughs> when the charms kind of cling together, and they, I just enjoy charm bracelets. So I have really been loving my Pandora bracelet. The other thing that I have been enjoying, again, is my um louis vuitton bag the the big one um i got it a couple years back and for a minute there i you know i kind of put it away and then when my daughter was born i started carrying it again and i think it's i don't know maybe it's that mom thing but it has so much space in it that i just throw everything in it i thought long and hard about turning it into a diaper bag but i was not prepared <laughs> for like formula to spill in it or dirty i just i was not prepared to sacrifice it like that so um but I do carry it and I have spilled some stuff in it and it has hurt me deeply like it's hurt me deep and I, I don't know if I'm ever going to recover but um so I, I carry it sometimes in conjunction with the diaper bag and sometimes on its own but I've really been enjoying it again and I've been carrying it every day literally every day and I just throw stuff in there it, it gets obscenely heavy anyways um next up I want to talk about a food item that <laughs> I've been enjoying but I have to limit myself on it and it's going to be this right here and this is the Heavenly Light popcorn uh, the brand is Abound and the only place I found this is CVS my aunt my mother's sister actually turned us on to this popcorn last year sometime and um, if you like movie theater popcorn I swear this tastes just like movie theater popcorn it's not too salty <laughs> It's, you know, it's just that right. Mm, I don't know how to explain it, but um, I've definitely been enjoying this. Um, it comes in a couple of flavors. It's like this one, there's the cheddar flavor, uh, or like white cheddar, black pepper, and kettle corn. And I actually think there's sriracha. I've not tried the sriracha, but all the other flavors, they're amazing. Um, and I'm almost afraid to tell people about this popcorn because they're going to go buy it and then it's going to sell out. and. It's like, I'm just kidding. Who am I kidding? I, it's not going to sell it because I'm, I'm just not that awesome. Um, but still, been enjoying this. Um, so next up, let's talk about some beauty things that I've been enjoying. I know, you know, looking at this, I'm not wearing any makeup and you're like, beauty? No, seriously. <laughs> there have been some beauty products that I have been enjoying that I've tried. Um, most of them are not new you know they've been on the market for a while but i finally got my hands on them or decided to you know bite the bullet and try it so the first up is more of a skincare beauty item and it's the clinique liquid facial soap oily skin formula and it's meant for combination oily to oily and so this this is it right here um and i've i've been enjoying it i've you know on the market always for like a new face wash i have combo oily skin um, and I'm looking for something that will not dry me out so bad that my face feels like it's cracking and then like an hour later I'm just so oily that I could fry something. So I've been enjoying this one. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it tingles a little bit and I don't know if that's just me or if it's supposed to, but it tingles just a little bit when like, I'm washing my face. But then I like rinse it off and we're good to go. Um, so I have been enjoying this one. And I usually like everything from Clinique anyway, so this wasn't really that big of a surprise for me. Um, the next thing up for skincare is going to be the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. And so this is the little packaging. Um, I got it as a sample through Sephora. I ordered, I think like lipstick or something. I don't know. I can't remember what I ordered. But um, 
this came as a sample and I'm all about facial sprays. I bought the Mario Badescu facial spray, both of them, the rose water and the cucumber. Uh, I have the, like the Evian just kind of water. I, I'm so down with facial mist. They're so easy and refreshing. And so I, this one I tried and I really like it. I, I wouldn't necessarily, I don't know how, let me get real. I don't know how you're really supposed to use this. I should probably look that up, but I usually use it I use the Mario Badescu first, like right after I wash my face, I do Mario Badescu. I do all my moisturizers and serums or whatever. And then I use this to kind of finish it off and like pat it in. And I just find it like a nice refreshing kind of like setting facial serum. I don't know. And then the other thing is I'm not sure if they've changed the packaging um, on this because I haven't really seen it anywhere. I haven't checked the website, but I haven't seen it at like Ulta or Sephora. So I'm not sure, but as soon as this comes out in a big bottle, take my money because I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> so that's it for really for skincare and then continuing on with like the beauty items. Um, I finally picked up the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer and I picked it up in Amber, yes, Amber number 11 and then Spiced Almond number 12. When I picked it up I picked up Spiced Almond number 12 first and it was a little dark I don't want to say it went gray on me, but it was a little dark on me. And so I was like, okay, I will probably use this one for summertime because it was just a shade too dark. And then I picked up Amber and this one fits me now before summer hits. So between the two, I, I really feel like I can't, I can't really go wrong. And I do like it. Um, I'm not really a foundation wear. You're going to hear this quite often. I, I don't enjoy foundation, I'm not going to lie. Um, usually it's really kind of heavy and um, I can always feel it sitting on my face. But this is one of the ones that I don't feel sitting on my face. I have another one that I'm, we're going to talk about in a minute that I feel the same way about. Um, but I do enjoy this foundation. It feels nice and light. It wears relatively well. Like I said, I have um, oily skin and so I have to use like a a mattifying primer, the step one from Makeup Forever, but it works for me, so I'm happy. And the second foundation I want to talk about is going to be Marc Jacobs, and I think it's the Supercharged Foundation, and I have the Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation, and I have it in 84 Cocoa Medium, and so I, this is another foundation that I really enjoy. It's nice and kind of lightweight feeling. For me it's like about medium coverage to full. I do enjoy full coverage. I just don't like the feel of full coverage. <laughs> I know right? I need so much. Um, but I find that it does cover very well. You, usually the first time around, like the first layer, it covers pretty good and then sometimes I'll go back in, like especially like in this area right here, and I'll go back in with like a, just a light layer and that conceals it enough to satisfy me. Um, again, it's lightweight and it doesn't look heavy on the skin and neither does the Milani Conceal and Perfect. That it looks good on the skin. It doesn't look like foundation. There's not that mask that you're kind of used to. So I have been enjoying this one and this one's an oldie because he's come out with like a couple other foundations since then, but I've been enjoying this one. So we're going to move into um, my planning category. I enjoy planning. I am a stationary girl at heart. so. Um, if it's not makeup, <laughs> I'm throwing my money at like stationery. And so something that I've really been enjoying um, these past couple of months is the Erin Condren, and this is this is it right here. I use it as a budget planner, and it's the Erin Condren, I think like deluxe monthly notebook. And so it comes with. Um, let me see if I can find a blank page in it. All right, so it comes, so let me gather my thoughts. So it comes with a calendar. Uh, it is dated, and so the whole, it's a, is it a year? I should know these things before I talk about them, right? I mean, I like them, so why don't I know this? Pretty sure it's a year. Yes, this goes up to December 2017, and it started in January. So you get a month on two pages, and then the second page is um, like this little, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's just this little column like, and you have like one, two, three, you have five sections here and then you flip it over and it's kind of like half a page. One side is like bulleted 
and then this side is just lined right here. And so I actually got the idea to use this as a budget planner from my favorite daughter Emily or favorite daughter Emily. I'll link her channel down below. Um, but I saw her doing the budget planner and I thought, of course, why not? And so I watched a couple of her videos. I was like, okay, she follows the David Ramsey, like um, financial planning and ideas and stuff. And I haven't gotten into it yet. I've been looking into it. I, I don't know if it's my thing or not, but um, some of her ideas I have carried over. That being said, I do enjoy using this notebook as a budget planner. And in the back you have some note pages. I haven't had a chance to use them yet. I, I, half the time I forget they're back there. And then in the very back there's some stickers and then you have a folder. And then I believe that this cover, uh, maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm, maybe I'm pretending. No, no, no. This cover is removable so you could go get a cover to fit it. And I've, I think this notebook is like six by nine. I don't think it's a full eight and a half by 11, but I could be wrong. Probably like seven by, whatever. I'll leave the measurements down below and I'll leave the link for this on the Erin Condren website. But I have been enjoying using this as a notebook to plan my budget and, you know, kind of get my finances in order and get cut down on debt, all that beautiful stuff. Um, in the same vein as planning, there's a website or an Etsy store that I have been enjoying particularly and that is Planner Kate. I'll leave her link down below for you to go check her out if you want to. It's up to you. Um, but I have been enjoying her stickers. I always enjoy them but they're very functional, uh, very simple, easy to use and I just I like all the options and the color. I just like her, her, her store. I just like her products. That's all there is to it. Um, I've been ordering from her quite a bit in a couple of other shops so um, like I said, I've been enjoying Planner Kate and her Etsy store. The last thing on my list is a little bit of tech, and that is going to be the Roku. If you do not know what the Roku is, it is a streaming device that allows you to um, basically turn your TV into either a smart TV, if it's not a smart TV, or an even smarter TV. Either way it goes, it's a fabulous device. Um, I would compare it to like the Google Chrome or Apple TV, but it's so much better. <laughs> um, I think last count they were at like 3,500 channels and, and or like apps. And so, you know, you download them and then you can watch. There's a lot of free TV. There's also paid TV. Like you can download your Hulu to it and your Netflix and all those other apps and log into it like you normally would. But you can also, there's like cooking channels. You can download your YouTube app. I mean, it's, I've really been enjoying it. Um, if you saw my video on about my monthly favorites for eight to nine months, you'll know why. Because I've been watching Dave and Ava and I put it on the TV. My daughter watches it quietly for at least 45 minutes. That lets me get dishes done. It lets me make the bed. It lets me brush my, whatever I need to do. Um, but I have been enjoying the Roku. Um, I stream my Amazon Prime through it. I've been watching uh, Drama Fever, which is like a Korean, um, drama it's like a korean app it's an app that lets you watch korean dramas and um i've been watching that as well through the, oh my goodness i'm so addicted i <laughs> have problems um but anyways roku is an amazing amazing device um i should probably put a disclaimer that i one of my previous jobs, I was a vendor for Roku. Um, and that's how I kind of got introduced to Roku. But even though I no longer work as a representative for them, I still enjoy the Roku. Um, and I, every time people are like, what should get a Roku? It's amazing. So I still love the product. I just like to say that and, you know, give that little bit of a, a disclaimer. So anyways, <laughs> after that long ramble, we come to the end of this video. Um, these are all my favorites that, you know, been current uh, past couple of months and whatnot. And I've really been enjoying all of them. And I hope that maybe, you know, this gave you some ideas of some new things to try, um, things you didn't even know about, whatever the case may be. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that I see you again in my next one. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of the week.
All right, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope you rate and give me a nice thumbs up on this video. Uh, other than that, thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video. You guys have a good day. Bye. <laughs>